Well, it's finally done. I am super excited about the fact that uh, this project is finished. The plans are complete. Everything's been updated. Uh, the only thing that you don't see here is a change that I made to this. This is now a star knob and that has been changed in the plans. Let's get on with the tour and I'll show you what we ended up with. All right, let's start with the headstock and work our way down. So as you can see, there's now a guard here. I wasn't um, initially planning to do a guard but a couple people commented about safety and so I thought for the safety conscious folks uh, I might uh, make an attempt at building a guard for the belt. This was my first attempt at making one. As you can see I left the film. Now this is Lexan by the way. This is not the same as plexiglass so its behavior is slightly different but um, I would imagine the same precautions need to be taken that I'm going to tell you about and that is uh, when you're heating it, you want to spread the heat out nice and even. Try not to stay in one area too long, which is what I kind of did here. While it's more bubbly here, but nice and clear here in the middle. Because I was doing this, and so at the end, I was getting more time at the ends than I was in the middle. And so I changed my path a little bit uh, to even out the heat on this one. And as you can see, that looks a lot better. So there's a, a little quick tip about trying to heat and bend uh, Lex hand in this case. So the, the guard is made in such a way that I can slip it off but uh, and these are just two tapped holes and uh, some 5 8 bolts here and then that gap is just tight enough so we can slip it back on and when the lathe is running I've turned it all the way up to full speed and it doesn't vibrate or anything so I think I found just the right amount of snugness where you kind of got to uh, work it back in there but it doesn't vibrate or make any noise when you're using the lathe. Something else that's new is the control panel. It's uh, very similar to the one I had before. It's just bolted to the front and of course the cables run through the back. Uh, I've got a DC motor in there so uh, there's my on off switch and a potentiometer which is controlling my DC speed controller. As you can see we ended up with two tail stocks. We've got one that's designed to be used uh, with all shop made components you just need to purchase fasteners. We've already used this guy before and uh, so we know it works well. I've taken the knob off to do something different with it uh, but of course I don't intend to use that tailstock. I primarily built that for you guys. This is the tailstock I really wanted to make which is one that behaves more like a store-bought lathe. This socket here has an M2 taper in it and that allows me to mount uh, store-bought accessories for my lathe. In this case we've got a live center mounted here but I could also buy a chuck that's got an M2 taper and other things for drilling holes in my work pieces. So you'll be seeing this guy more in the future. Uh, the way it works when you advance this you can see it advances it forward just like in a lathe that you buy from the store. If you want to know more about how I made this guy, then you'll find all that information in the plans. Over here in the corner, we've got our sanding table. And let me get that set up for you. All right, I've got the sanding disc set up. Of course, this just screws on just like the chuck does. This can be positioned in either direction where you can flip it around, put it on the other way so that the track is on the other side. And I, I put this in here so that I could add other accessories later. Particularly, I'm thinking about uh, a radius uh, type jig. Let's fire it up and you can see the sander. Well, that gives you an idea of what we got here. If you want to see a demo of this guy in action, uh, turning a piece on the lathe, uh, several of these pieces, including that big tomahawk piece over there, was made in earlier parts of this series. So you do want to go back and watch the beginning of this. Uh, everything else is on my website, so feel free to follow the link in the description. It'll take you to my website where you can see lots of pictures of this guy. 
And of course, uh, there'll be an option to purchase the plans there. Uh, I'll go ahead and put a link here as well. So if you want to just open it in the video, it'll open in another window and you can go there after this. Well, I've got a 55 gallon drum full of plastic outside that's calling my name. Leave me some comments below. Let me know what you think of this project. Leave any questions down there and I'll see you guys pretty soon.